Victor, I know this is hard, but can you, in the war, which has been devastating to so many Ukrainians, it's been very personal to you, right? It, it was, it was. Why don't you, would you tell us how it's been personal to you? Well, we lost four, four volunteers. One of them was the most joyful volunteer that, that, um, that we had. His name was also Victor. Um, he, was, he was great, just telling people about Christ every Monday. And then they were captured by, uh, by the rebels and uh, they were brought to this building that we are stand, standing next to. Uh, as a matter of fact, five years ago to the day they were tortured here in this building. I was speaking to one of the ladies, she's not a Christian, and, and she saw what was happening. And she was just working there and said, um, uh, your brothers were there, they were so, so brave. And she was asking me, what do you Christians have inside of you? And I said, what do you mean? And she said, um, well, I saw your brothers and, uh, and the rebels covered their eyes with duct tape, put them in this little cage, four of them took big wooden sticks and said I did not want to watch what is about to happen. I, I moved away uh, to a different corner of the building and she said I heard two sounds coming from, from that corner where they were. Their bones being broken and they were singing their Christian songs. And she looked into my eyes and said, Victor, what do you Christians have inside of you? This thing is personal to me. Those were my, my brothers. I have a privilege to, to be serving with them. This building is personal to me as well, because that was five years ago, 37 years ago, my dad was in prison. This is a former KGB building. And uh, during the Soviet times, my dad was in prison and he was kept here in this building. I was standing as a teenager, knocking on the door of the KGB building, asking, Where, where's my father? And I have examples like that. I have people who touched my life like that. People who, who brought so many others to Christ. You feel so humbled. Today we have a voice to reach so many people for Jesus Christ. Today we have microphones, transmitters. We stopped by, by the transmitters and today the and, voice and the antenna, and the, antenna and, and the tower and the voice of the gospel is going out. And I'm so privileged to be working for FEBC, to be developing this work. And I'm so grateful for people like you, Peter, who are coming and, and bringing the gospel to us Ukrainians, churches like yours. Uh, this is, you don't know what it means to us. We went through very difficult times, and then we went through even more difficult times. And then to feel the support of other Christians is priceless for us.